Moffat and Egenberger keep Needswitz informed of other drivers' times by radio. But none of them, especially the West German, is under any doubts that the man they'll have to beat is Johnson. Very quick here on Thursday. Had given problems yesterday, but expect a quick time from Klaus. This is one man who had his heart set on one thing last year, and that was winning the top ten runoff. We take race cam from Klaus Needswitz ANZ Sierra as he comes out of BP cutting and heads to the top of the mountain. Really works the car hard, but ever so smooth. As you can see. Coming down towards Skyline. Just stay away from those uh, ripple strips across the top there. They're more like boulders. You clip one of those and uh, it can be disastrous, as several people have already found out. But needs bits are smarter than that. Great race cam picks there as he heads down to Forest Elbow. Wide exit there. And is he going quick or what? A second faster on the split time at Forest Elbow. Yeah. Well, I'd say Klaus might be lining up here for a fairly sizable chunk of the $40,000 prize money. He's looking good. Check it flag time for Klaus Nietzsch in the ANZ Sierra. Across the line on a quick time. The ANZ Sierra team is delighted with the race trim time of 218.246. Both Johnson and Longhurst realise it will take a first-class performance to put down the West German driver. Klaus, so far the fastest man at 218. Was it a good lap for you? No, it was not a perfect lap. I missed one time the key, so I lost maybe one second. And, uh, okay, I have to accept. Does this feel like a race-winning car to you? Yeah, it's a, it's a real race car. And uh, I'm happy to be here in Australia, and I'm happy to be under the first top ten. As Bao leaves the pits, Moffat is among the first to congratulate Needswitz as he steps from the Sierra. Uh, I know Safe. we should have put it in before. Oh, they get good. Yeah, yeah. I think I should have been hacked. Ach, haben sie nach innen geschaltet? Hä? Haben sie nach innen geschaltet? Ja, ja. Longhurst fails to beat Needswitz's time. Bow is close, but not close enough. If Needswitz is to be beaten, Johnson will have to do it. How was it through the dipper? Did you find it really bite you in the dipper? I thought I saw you grab another gear in the dipper. Did yeah, it I couldn't you go in the first gear. Oh, hell. Because in qualifying, I used always first gear there. Sure, why not? And uh, also did a mistake. Johnson a goes out. Needsbit settles in front of a monitor to watch his rival's lap. He's confident that his time will be hard to beat. Johnson fails by a full second. The belated victory is sweet. The prize is welcome. A pole position would have been better. You must be very happy. Yeah, I'm very happy to, to be in this car, which uh, Rudy Eggenberger built, and I'm happy to do this time. It was a little bit uh, slippery, the circuit, uh, this morning, but I'm the fastest one, so I'm happy. You were quietly confident, Alan? Well, uh, I know the tremendous effort that Rudy puts into the technology that's in the car. It's just mind-blowing. This car, if you put wings on it, would be a candidate at Cape Canaveral. And Klaus has done just such a super job behind the wheel. Uh, we're just now waiting to do our preparations this afternoon and prepare the car to win the race. What about you, Rudy? You must be happy too? Yes, I'm very happy. What about uh, putting Johnson that second behind, though? That must be of psychological value to you. Uh, I saw he was sometimes a little bit 
um, over four wheels. Um, the reason maybe is it's too slippery, and uh, so he was a little bit slower than me. I'm happy. You go along with the psychological barrier situation, Alan? Oh, certainly, and I think it brings the time that the official time that was recorded on Friday back.